Hello everybody, it is 8.20 a.m. on December 21st, 2015. I got, I've got up, I've been up for a little bit, so I just was editing some videos for yesterday's vlog. Okay, I'm starving, so I have to eat some food now. Okay, it's 9.30. I finished editing yesterday's vlog and it's already just uploading there. So now I'm just going to go upstairs and get ready for the day. Okay, I'm done getting ready and now I'm going to go down to the garage to clean it up because it is very messy. Okay, so my brother decided to take apart this air hockey table and he's trying to make himself a selfie stick. So it is just really messy. So I'm just going to try and declutter a little bit. Okay everyone, so I've cleaned this out. We had our lawnmower there. I swept as best as I could and moved everything over. So I've got my sweat pile there and then a bunch of junk that we just need to throw. So now I'm gonna go down to the crawl space to see if we can find a space for the lawnmower. I'm gonna move these bikes all the way back there with the other bike. Then hopefully the lawnmower will be able to fit through. Okay, so I used every bike, made a little ramp. I need to come up the ramp. And then up onto this box. So I put two bikes on that and then one bike all the way back there in the corner. It's really creepy back here. Okay, this side of the garage is pretty cleaned out and swept. So now I just gotta work on this side. Lunch break to com to be continued later. Okay, so we're going grocery shopping now. We're gonna need to get some groceries for Christmas. Then we're gonna go and get some fish. I'm gonna get some of this. Get some of that too. These things are so cool. I'm gonna get one of these in my room. Welcome to the family, fishies. So the new fish are just adjusting to our water temperature and they'll be released soon. Oh, right, so we borrowed some tables and chairs from our neighbor for Christmas because we're having a lot of people over. So now I need to just finish cleaning up the garage, throw that pile of junk away, and just put everything back into its place. Okay, now it's time to put all that junk over there into recycle and garbage. Okay, so I got back in from cleaning the garage. I'm almost done. We just need to do a couple finishing touches and then I'll show you the final product later. But as from yesterday's vlog, when I was doing making my virtual reality set, my camera had died. So halfway through when I was putting the duct tape on, it died. So I was able to try it out a little bit last night, but then I had to go to bed. So here's the final product. Okay, so here's the final product. It doesn't really look that great, 
but so I took duct tape and had it all along here but when you stuck your face in the duct tape really didn't smell good and it burned your eyes so I decided to get a, a little hole there for some ventilation I cut out a little forehead mold so it fits a little bit better on your head so it's best when you just go into a dark room and put it up to your face and then so you stick a 3d video in there like my iPod so it just will pop right in snap in okay so it's nice and secure it's good so now all you have to do you need to go into the you need to go into like your bathroom or something where it's dark and then you're able to look around oh there's the other diver and you can also look down so the quality of the videos aren't really great because they're just YouTube videos, but it does work pretty well for five bucks. You might be wondering like why I made a whole box when I could just use my iPod and look around. But when you're in the dark and you have something held to your face, it kind of puts you in your own world. It's sort of like you're, you're there and you're just like alone in the ocean and you can look all around you than just standing out in a room and where you can just like move your head and then just see like a wall, not where it's dark and then like that's all you can see. During yesterday's vlog, we were cleaning this room for our company, so I'm gonna show you the final product. So here we have the arrow, an arrow bed. This is kind of will be the main bed for this room with two night stands. Got the couch here where one kid will sleep on, and then an air mattress here. And we were able to keep the TV there so they can sit, sit on the couch and watch Netflix. So overall, it's really not that bad in here. There's space to like get dressed over here and everything. So it looks looks really nice. In my room, we had my dresser over there, which we moved into my closet. I can't really open any of the drawers, so I'll just have my stuff on top and my clothes on top for the whole week. So now I have a bunch of space for an air mattress that somebody else will sleep on. So it's messy here. I We washed all my heat today and I really haven't made my bed yet. I'm so happy right now. I just got tagged on Instagram. I'm following the Hockey Shot store. They're like a hockey company. And I just won 12 dryland training tiles, so we'll put them in our garage. It's like you can stick handle and shoot on them. I'm so excited right now. I literally screamed. Oh my gosh. Okay, everybody. So here's the garage all cleaned up. There's a bunch of stuff here. That's gone. and I'll put it away. I moved the two bins there, and then we're going to put that in our backyard. So it's just really empty. And I have a lot of space. This stuff is all going to the crawl space. So that'll be gone. But I have so much space now, and it feels so empty. What a good day of work. So as I said, I won those ho those 12 hockey shot dryland training tiles. So that is 12 square feet. But this shooting pad here is 8 by 4. So 12 square feet really is only to like here and in about here. So it's really not that much space. So, but what's nice about the tiles is you can add on to them. So, I'll see what I'll do. As always, thanks for watching, and see you tomorrow.